So a couple of people have tagged me in this video, two at least on uh, TikTok and one on Instagram. So I figure this is something you're going to be interested in. So watch this video and then we're going to talk a little bit about it. This is the craziest tub I've ever seen in my life. It is literally floating. And in a second, I'm going to show you how it works. First, let's cover the details. It's made out of carbon fiber. It is mounted to the ceiling with these steel rods. So it looks like a hammock and check this out. We have the tub filler on this side, valves right here. And when you turn it on, it starts filling the tub. Now, in order to drain it, you just hit the drain and it goes down into the flooring. Seriously, craziest tub I've ever seen in my life. Hi, I'm Dave with Remodel Media, and since 2005, I've been helping people put together kitchens, baths, outdoor kitchens, and various other home renovation projects. I'm on a mission to eliminate remodel regret, and I do that by bringing you the latest tips, tricks, and products for your home remodel. So if you're new here, follow along. We'll have some fun. Now, this particular carbon fiber tub is really interesting. It's from a company in the UK called Splinterworks. Now, I have a request into them. I sent them an email, uh, and we will see what they say. I have not found a price or anything. This particular tub, I'm just going to guess and say it's about a $20,000 tub. I could be wrong. I could be a little high on that, but it's probably, yeah, that tub is probably worth more than most people's cars. But I will offer some general plumbing tips. Uh, that particular bath filler features uh, a hot and a cold separate line, and it looks like a pretty standard, well, not a standard tub spout, but a uh, tub spout that hooks up in a pretty standard way, comes right out of the wall. What they don't show you in that video is how it drains. It drains into that, in the video, it drains into uh, a pile of gravel, but it actually, underneath that gravel is an actual drain. And you can see that here. The only red flag that I can see as far as the US market uh, for this tub is there is no overflow. The reality is lots of tubs don't have overflows, so it's not necessarily a deal breaker, but that is one thing that may become a problem. Another red flag, uh, if you're in the US market and looking to put this in, uh, they do not have any United States contact information. There is no 1-800 number. There is only an international number that you can call. So good luck getting any sort of technical representation of any kind based on this. Now, the good news is there's not a lot of moving parts uh, to this tub. The tub is literally just a bowl with a hole in it that just happens to be suspended from either the wall or the ceiling, depending on how it's installed. They have a couple different ways to install this tub. And another red flag is I looked at the KBiz entries, the Kitchen and Bath Industry Show, to see if this company was going to be at KBiz this year, and they are not, uh, at least not as far as I can tell. Uh, I could be wrong, and if I am wrong, somebody please correct me. But the reality is KBiz, the largest kitchen and bath industry show, Literally, that, that, that's the name, KBiz, is part of DCW, Design and Construction Week. And they partner actually with IBS or the International Builders Show. So it remains to be seen whether this is a fly-by-night company or a company that is just starting out. In either case, getting this installed in a bathroom in the United States will be exceedingly difficult and exceedingly expensive. It may catch on, they may get distribution in the United States, but as of right now, I can find none. Thanks for watching. I hope you got some good information out of that episode. Go ahead and click here for more videos. Go ahead and click here to subscribe and make sure you check out the description below for relevant links to some of the products that we discussed today and leave your comments and questions down below because I love answering them. As always, I'll see you in the next one.